how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some trend predictions for 2022 hair edition. So if you don't know me, hello, my name is Devin. I am a hairstylist and I've actually been in the hair industry my whole life. My mom is a hairstylist, so I basically grew up in the salon and something really fun for me every year is seeing the new trends that are coming out, kind of guessing what's going to be popular, and just kind of keeping up with all that. These are some predictions that I personally think are going to be big, as well as some of the predictions I've seen online. I can't really pinpoint a certain person or source, it's just collectively things that I've seen like from the hair industry via like Instagram or other things. So let's get right into it. The biggest trend I think overall for hair, whether it is color, texture, cut, any of that, I think is going to be more of a natural look. That includes just like a really effortless style, a really effortless look. And I think we're gonna see that trend of more natural, just like overall with everything. Again, whether that is texture, color, style, just overall more of a natural, effortless, classic beauty look. As far as cuts, I think in 2021, a huge trend that was popular was definitely the curtain bang. I think the curtain bang will continue on to 2022 and be very popular. I think we'll see different lengths with that. First, we kind of had the shorter shag curtain bang. I think we're gonna start getting into a longer curtain bang. So whether it's short hair, medium hair, or long hair, I definitely see the trend of really long layers around your face, some face framing layers, as well as some longer curtain bangs. I think the shorter still will be popular, but I think for the most part in 2022, we're gonna see a very longer curtain bang that just kind of frames the freight. <laughs> frames the face really nice. So again, layers are definitely going to be a trend in 2022. We're going to see a lot of face framing layers, whether that's on long hair and you have the really pretty, sleek, blown out, layery look that is already super popular right now. So I definitely think it's going to pick up speed and continue on. I also think with shorter hair, whether it's kind of like collarbone or my length, I think we'll see a lot of face framing layers. In 2021, we saw the modern shag really be popular. I think the wolf cut is really going to take off this year. So the wolf cut basically, in my opinion, is a blend between, don't freak out, don't freak out with this word, but a blend between a mullet and a shag. So a mullet definitely has a lot of shorter length and layers in the front and, you know, party in the back. The wolf cut is similar where it's a lot of shaggy layers, but it's a little bit more than a shag or a classic shag. With the wolf cut, I think there's just so many different varieties of it that you can do. I think it's been super popular in South Korea and it hasn't been as mainstream here in the US, but I think it's picking up speed and I predict that it will be one of the more popular hairstyles, even if people don't really realize that they're asking for a wolf cut or really getting a wolf cut. The thing with wolf cuts that I do like is you can really switch it up and personalize it to that person. So you can do a lot of kind of short, more blunt bangs, kind of more of a curtainy bang. It's just really cute and I think you can either make it really edgy, rock star style, or you can really make it kind of chic and bougie maybe. You know, you can definitely make a wolf cut look chic and look very pretty still. So I think wolf cuts will definitely be very popular for 2022. Another haircut that I've seen trending online, again, I can't pinpoint a certain source, but just overall the mumbles in the hair world have been the French bob. I think the French bob is super chic and cute. I think it's definitely going to be trending because Parisian style, fashion-wise, I think has been trending and will also pick up speed. So the French bob is super cute. Love the bangs on a French bob. Again, you can kind of switch it up a little bit with how you want to wear the fringe on the French bob. I do think there's a fine line between French bob and Lord Farquaad. <laughs> from Shrek. 
So I think a lot of girls will shy away from the super short French cut and do a little bit of a longer French cut, which is still a French bob even though it's a little bit longer, but I think that might suit a lot of people more. The French bob to me is just super cute and I don't know, it just reminds me of like ballet for some reason even though that doesn't make sense because in ballet your hair is up in a bun but I don't know for some reason I just get ballet vibes and I definitely think fashion wise that will be trending for 2022 so I think that the french bob kind of goes hand in hand. There's another haircut that I have kind of seen and heard which I didn't really know the name of it, but I agree, and I've kind of said earlier, longer, kind of more of a layered cut will be popular. So there is a name to a cut like that from the 90s, and that's the Rachel haircut. So I do think that the modern Rachel will be trending, and that's kind of some more whispers in the hair world of a cut that will be trending. as more of a modern style. So funny story about the Rachel cut actually. I was in fourth grade and I remember just constantly having boys pick on me but it was like one of those things where they're like oh they're mean to you that means they like you right? All the time I used to run from them, hide from them but I didn't think they liked me. I thought they were just picking on me. Well the Rachel hairstyle was very popular and I, being my mom's guinea pig, had to let her try to cut the Rachel on me before she, you know, tempted it on her clients. So I had really long hair and we chopped it off short, you know, gave me a bunch of layers, flipped out the bottom, flipped under, and I went to school and I heard the boys tell each other, Devin got a new haircut and she's not as cute. And I was like, yes! So the Rachel haircut definitely changed my life for the better. The boys stayed away for a while, you know, until it grew out. But I was just over the moon that they would just kind of leave me alone. You know what I mean? If that took a hairstyle, if that takes an edgy hairstyle, I guess, to do that, then so be it. Some more hairstyle kind of styles that I think will be trending are definitely 90s Y2K styles. This might be a little more edgier for some people, so I don't know if it'll take off super mainstream, but I definitely think we'll see different varieties of 90s hairstyles kind of becoming more modern and people doing a little bit more. I think we've seen that towards the end of this year with like the two braids or pulling your hair back and kind of having two pieces out. That's very 90s Y2K, I know because I lived it. Uh, I think 90s hairstyles will definitely be in. Now for color that will be trending in 2022. Overall, the biggest hair color I still see trending is the balayage. Yes, that's how you say it. So balayage actually is just a word that describes a technique. So balayage is kind of to paint on and that's the effect. There's different ways you can balayage. You can balayage just some pieces of your hair to kind of give that sun-kissed look or you can actually balayage highlights right to the scalp. So the term balayage is actually a technique but what we've seen the last couple of years is balayage become a color overall. So usually what a balayage is, if you go to the hairstylist and say like, I want a balayage, you might say it wrong a few times, that's okay, we've heard it pronounced every way, we'll know exactly what you mean. But basically a balayage is kind of like the upgraded, newer version of an ombre. We saw an ombre really get big like I mean, it's been kind of years now and still occasionally it's trending, but more of a modern version. But an ombre is darker to light color. A balayage is similar where you have more of your natural root and then some highlights throughout the bottom. Usually a balayage has some low lights mixed in with some highlights. We're seeing really big money piece around our face and face framing highlights with the balayage. So I think this is still very much going to be popular because this kind of ties in with the natural look and color effortless. We've been in this panini now for two years. So in the beginning, I think everybody was just doing the bare minimum for our hair of what we could do because most salons were closed so we couldn't even get in. So now that 
the world is kind of opening back up. Like, I don't even know where we are really, but thankfully I'm still able to work. That means you can come get your hair done, but I think overall people are still used to that minimalist kind of hair color. I had a lot of clients that came back right when we opened and they went from being more natural, you know, doing color kits at home to like, I want full blonde highlights all over. And then we got shut down again. So then they're kind of like, oh shit, what are we gonna do now? We need more of an overall color that can just be really effortless. You don't have to maintain it as much. That means you don't have to come into the salon as much unless you want to. So I still have clients that come in regularly every six weeks, but they do have more of a balayage look. So that means we either touch up their roots, we just put a few pieces around their face or ends in, we do a toner, we face frame, we add a few baby lights up in the roots if we want, but overall the balayage look I think is so big and will continue to be so big because if we need to, we can get away with just like not doing our hair as much, more of a low maintenance. And I think because of the panini, that low maintenance feeling has really stuck and will continue to kind of go on. So personally, that's why I think balayage is king and will continue to be king in 2022. It's effortless, it's low maintenance, it's just really chic and pretty. That doesn't mean that highlights still won't be happening, that platinum cards won't be popular. Of course they will. People are always gonna do that. This is just more of what's kind of trending, what the majority of people are doing. A lot of people have gone back from balayage to highlights, but I feel like the majority of people that are kind of over their balayage will start doing baby lights, which is just a lot more subtle. Baby lights are basically just really fine, tiny highlights. And the nice thing about that is they can really break up the base of your hair color and make it appear lighter without having to actually really color it all. If you have gray, you can blend some baby lights in with the gray to kind of not have to go to the salon as long to get it touched up or just to kind of blend. So speaking of gray, the last couple years, gray and silver, platinum icy has been super popular and trending and what everybody was asking for. Since, again, the panini, we have seen that we can't maintain the same hair colors that we previously had because our hairdressers are closed down, unfortunately. Because of that, I think those really icy, ashy colors are kind of dwindling away. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not popular. Some people prefer ashy tones to warmer tones, but overall for 2022, I definitely think we're gonna see a bigger shift going from very ashy to very warm. So warm tones can really be for anybody or any hair level. I think for darker colors, we're really gonna see rich, chocolatey warm tones if we go up the scale a little bit more we have our lighter browns which i think will continue to be a little bit more warm followed by some darker blondes again with more of a caramel toffee tone of warmth now for our lighter blondes, I definitely think that some people are going to be shifting away from the platinum to more of a beigey champagne blonde, which I think is just beautiful. Don't get that twisted with like buttery yellow because it's not, it's completely different. Beige can have cool undertones to it, but it can also have a little bit of warmer undertones as well. So to me, beige is warm with a little pearly tones. So not really like butter or like honey, but it's a little bit on the cooler scale in my opinion, but at the same time, it's not platinum. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not platinum, it's not white, it's more of a champagne, if we think of champagne. It's kind of more like that, like beigey champagne. I think that's beautiful. I think that that's just gonna add a lot more shine. And overall, we're going back to our natural effortless look. Let's talk bright, fun colors. So. I think one of the biggest trending colors for 2022 is going to be ginger. Gingers, it's your time to shine. I think we've seen this a little bit at the end of the year. 
more of an orangey ginger, like straight up ginger. And I'm not talking about like, you know, some natural brownish tones. No, girl, ginger hair, orange hair is going to be in, is going to be trending. That can be a darker orange, that can be a medium orange, a lighter orange, like you name it, I think ginger orange is definitely going to be trending. That could even mean if you're lighter hair and you like all the fashion colors, which again have been still popular but not as popular, I feel like, just with the state of our world. I think if you are like a platinum and you kind of want to switch it up and do something fun and funky, I think peach is definitely really cute it's really on trend with the ginger because it is ginger but it's on the lighter scale so overall i said that more of a natural look will be in i think this applies to texture also i think more natural curls have been gaining speed thanks to tiktok i think because of tiktok people with naturally curly hair can show other people with naturally curly hair how to style it and how to get the most out of your natural curl and texture I love this. I think as a hairstylist, I'm always advocating for my clients to embrace their natural hair pattern, whether that is a wave, a tighter coil, or a curl. I think curls are so beautiful and oftentimes we put ourselves in a box and think that we have to conform to what our society says is beautiful, whether that is the Rachel or the, you know, chic blown out look. Sometimes I think a big, curly, frizzy, natural hair is way more beautiful. It sets you apart and makes you unique. So I think overall for 2022, if you have curly hair, embrace it. Like this is my hair curled with a curling iron. My hair is so straight. It has literally no frizz to it, no nothing. And I hate it. Like I wish I could just make my hair huge and beautiful and big. And honestly, I think thanks to TikTok, we are able to embrace our different looks and our differences and realize that that's what makes us all unique. So for 2022, if you have curly hair, stop straightening it all the time. Stop getting straighteners. If you need a Brazilian blowout, I'll let, I'll let you pass. You can get a Brazilian blowout to control some of your frizz if it's too extreme. But overall, like if you're always straightening your hair to be straight and to have more of a Eurocentric look, like just stop. Beautiful curly hair is in. I said it. There you go. It's going to be more popular. It is going to be the trend for 2022. All right, everybody, that's it for me and my 2022 hair prediction. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you agree with any of these or what else you think will be trending in 2022. I am very excited to see all the beautiful hair and what we're gonna do with it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.